Greenbelt land is a bit of a grey area. Many developers are scared of going anywhere near it, but attitudes are shifting. The Greenbelt was created to control urban expansion. It's highly protected, thus difficult to build on. There are two major areas of Greenbelt land. The Metropolitan Greenbelt, around London, and the Greenbelt surrounding Liverpool, Manchester and West Yorkshire. Both these areas are in need of more housing. Another thing, Greenbelt land tends to be cheap. Some developers are seeking out strategic sites in and around the Greenbelt at the edge of settlements. They'll either develop it themselves or sell the land on at a profit with the aim of the area becoming a future settlement due to growing housing demands. Of course, there's a huge obstacle, planning permission. Local authorities can't grant planning permission on the green belt when there is available brownfield or greenfield land. But if a council are falling short of their housing targets and this land isn't available, then it's possible to make an argument that releasing the land will help them reach their local plan goals. But this isn't a guarantee. However, it's worth reconsidering the green belt in certain instances, as over time, this could be very profitable if you're willing to invest upfront. And that's the green belt in a nutshell. If you're looking for strategic sites, check out Land Insight.